and it remains to be seen whether we're going to get a load of silage fed before dark. Gotta love farming. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> Music. Good morning. It's that time again, Spit. Are you hungry? Is you hungry? Come here, baby. Down. Come down. Sugar. Uh. Right here, baby. <laughs> Speck, you're having a hard time. Right here. All right. degrees and it's what's today November 17th it's been cold this week so I'll take this I'm trying to hold this thing from being so shaky anyway I said it's been a week it has been a doozy of a week mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember I introduced you to Papa and my coming back vlog I don't remember what number I should know, I don't know. Anyway, he's been in and out of the hospital for months. 92 years old, World War II vet. Love him, love him to pieces. We've had a struggle of a week. Because <laughs> he fell a couple times and we're just reaching that point where we're faced with, um, where am I supposed to look right there? Faced with some hard decisions about next steps since he really can't can't take care of himself so my heart and all the kudos in the world go out to people who are full-time caretakers and nurses uh, work in hospice all you people that look after people for a living or just as a part of your life you rock it's not easy. It can be stressful. It can be trying. It can be sad. And it's just hard. And, um, yeah, it's kind of where we're at. But if that's you, I feel ya. A little bit anyway, a little taste of it. And you're awesome. <laughs> Keep doing what you do. You might be underappreciated. You are underappreciated. I'm sure you are. So I'm telling you today that I appreciate you and what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, let's go see if he'll eat a sweet potato for lunch. It's usually one of his favorite things. Oh, and he wanted cornbread, so I made him cornbread yesterday. Cornbread and buttermilk. Who does that? I've never done that, but it's his favorite thing. He puts the cornbread in the buttermilk and eats it. I don't know. Whatever works. This is his old Dodge that I absolutely positively love. And all its old, rusty, beautiful glory. Mm hmm. I really do. Pop is taken care of. Now let's go burn a truck bed full of trash. This is how I exercise my dog. It's awesome, but I don't actually have to exercise. It's Sunday now, y'all. 
and just be glad that this is not smell -o vision yeah because I smelt something in here a couple days ago and I thought my dog had just done what she always does and like rolled rolled in some manure or something dead or ate some manure or ate something dead because that's what she likes to do but this morning when my kids and I got in here to go to church my son realized that that's not at all what I smelled. What I smelled was where she had thrown up. I'm assuming that's where, which end it came out of. I'm, it looked like it could have been both ends mixed up. But it was nice and like just all down on the side of the passenger seat by the, the uh, what do you call it, the seat belt holder. And now it's all I can smell. So that was us trying to get out the door for church. Sunday mornings, yeah, are always fun. Sunday and Monday mornings are fun here. So, anyway, all that to say, it's Sunday and it's silage day. Tis the season to start feeding some cow chow. So, it's going to be a mess because the mud is ridiculous. I'll try to take you along as long as I don't fall or drop the phone. <laughs> we'll see. Well, as it often goes, it's not going right. The old 4320 won't crank, so I'm in the truck giving it a little gas while the jumper cables are hooked up to the tractor. Hubs is not especially happy right now. No. <sighs> and it remains to be seen whether we're going to get a load of silage fed before dark. Gotta love farming. That's all we're going to get be able to do tonight. Tomorrow we will 